What's going on guys, it's Bobby here. Welcome back to Credit Wednesday, where every Wednesday we go over something about your credit. Now, today I'm going to be talking about how you can maintain a good credit store, score and maintain your income as well, which in turn keeps your credit good. So credit's all about how you can manage money, right? So let's say you go get a credit card and you got a $20,000 credit card limit. It doesn't mean you should go spend all $20,000. It just means you should afford to stay within your budget, your income. So let's say you got kind of decent credit, right? You go to a bank, you know, we got you a $40,000 loan. You're approved up to $40,000. And you come over here and say, Bobby, I got a $40,000 check. I want to take this Corvette home. Hey, I, I'm not going to stop you. I'm going to give you the car. But you should be like, okay, well, I only make $45,000 a year. Should I buy a $40,000 car? The answer is no. And you don't understand how many people go and buy a car that's worth more than what they make in a year. You should go and get this 2015 Ford Focus and have it paid off extremely quick and save your income, save your money so that you can go and be able to buy one of these cars reasonably one of these days to where the payment's not going to kill you, to where you're not going to be overstressed out on your budget um, and all that stuff. And people, that's how people have bad credit is because they buy things um, that they don't need or buy things that they think they can afford but that they really can't because you don't understand how many times people come in here and um, they have a brand new car and it gets repoed six months later because I mean I can see all that stuff whenever you're trying to buy a car where it gets repoed about six, seven months later because you couldn't afford the car payments. You're making $3,000 a month and paying $700 a month in a car payment plus insurance. I mean, I'm no math magician, but that math doesn't add up. You can't put 30% of your income into a car when you got two kids, a house, uh, a wife with another car, it just doesn't make sense. So the best way to have good credit is to budget yourself, to manage your own money, because if you can manage your money, you can manage your credit. The reason you got bad credit is because you can't manage your money and pay back the debts that you took out. So if you nip it all in the bud, manage your money and make good financial decisions, such as even if you could buy a $40,000 car, maybe you shouldn't. Maybe you should buy something within your means to where you can budget yourself properly and reinvest those money. For example, that uh, Ford Focus over there, say your payments were $300 a month. That Corvette, say your payments were $800 a month. Now you got $500 a month extra from switching to the Ford Focus that you can maybe reinvest into something that can start paying you dividends so that you can pay for the Corvette in full with the dividends you make with that extra $500. So that's just a tip for you guys, just a little bit longer video, but hopefully that helped you out. If you like it, Message us, tell us, follow us, share it, and most of all, come buy a car. Also, don't forget to go to our website and check out our new line of t-shirts. We got a Mustang just like this one posted, so if you like this car, you'll like that t-shirt. Y'all take care.